Cobb County, Georgia. We're live inside Truist Park. It's the pivotal Game 5 of the World Series between the Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves. It's Game 5 of the World Series, and it's coming up next. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, look at the stop by Freddie. Got him! So bases are empty with one gun, and in to hit next will be the outfielder Kyle Tucker. The 1 1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Duvall is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Digging in next, Carlos Correa. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the one and one pitch. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Yep. Called a strike, and it's full three and two. I know it's the first inning, but he better find his release point on that breaking stuff, or he's in for a long day. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a the scoreless ball game. Ready. Three men. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. So the next to bat will be Adam Duvall. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. Siri is there, two gone. Two down with a runner at first, and that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Three two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. So now to the plate, Austin Riley lofted in the air out toward right center. Coming in is Tucker. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. The 1-2. Line towards center field. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Into the box, Alex Bregman. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Standing in now, Jordan Alvarez. Into the corner and slicing foul. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. The throw to first is in time, one down. 
So it's second and third with one gun now. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. Now the 2 1 pitch is strike two swinging. He's got a chance to ring up back to back case here, and that would be huge in this situation. Uh, tried to bury one down and away, but it's full count now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly oh, impossible three. to hit. Strike three called, and now he's one out away That's from it. getting out of this. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back to back case with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Even count two balls and two strikes. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And the run will score as the Astros are off to the early 1-0 lead. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. To the plate now, Eddie Rosario. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. Hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. That is the catcher. Stepping in now, Travis Darno. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Guillermo Heredia, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Now a ground ball for Altuve could be two. The second for one to Guriel, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the outfielder, Guillermo Heredia. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at and the count moves full. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on 2-2. Two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. The next 3-2. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. But a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Digging in will be Framber Valdez. 9 1 and 2 do up. The 1 1. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Into the windup and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Freeman's got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So stepping in is Jose Altuve, 0 for 1 here in the early going. 1 1. Misses for the second ball. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Scooped up. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Base is empty, two away, and in to hit next will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. To two and two now. Smiley gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be the pitcher, Drew Smiley. 
Now the one and one pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Another one two delivery. And a change up swung on and missed for the first down. So up steps Ozzy Albies. Faces are empty one man out. Ozzy. Albies. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. The first baseman, number five. Now Ready. we move over to first. Don't want to forget about him. At the plate, Freddie Freeman lifted into the air out towards center field. Siri is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two gone and up next former San Francisco minor league property Adam Duvall. Runners off for second strike called now the throw down and he is out at second caught stealing to end the inning. Correa he bounced out last time up and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two pulled hard down the line and left and that finds the outfield grass for a base hit and now it'll kick around in the corner. And now Yuli Gurriel right side but it's going to be a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Grounded to the right and that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly it's first and third now with nobody out. The third base. Into the box now, Alex Bregman. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Now a curveball misses inside. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. So a full count now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. High pop up. Albies is there for it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. He pulls this one into right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2 0 game. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So now to the play, Jose Siri. 
a little bit outside two and one I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound this is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box cutter and that's a called strike two. two, two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Stepping in once again is Adam Duvall. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. The 2-2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The batter number seven. Shortstop. And the plate now, Dansby Swanson. Now a swing and a miss as he was trying to flick that one the other way, and it's a full count now, three and two. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. A 1 1. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Ground ball right side. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Eddie. So next to bat will be Whoa. Eddie Rosario. Oh he singled in his first A.B. The 1 1 home. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's 4 to 1. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Runner in scoring position with two guns. 1 and 1, here it is. Hard hit towards center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Framber Valdez. Swing and a line drive. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Up next to the after, the second base. To the plate now, Jose Altuve. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Redia. One down. At the plate now is Kyle Tucker. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Valdez leads off first with one away. Lined in to right, a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he'll pull into second with one away. Jesse Chavez has given the ball here to try to work out of a tough situation. Two runners in scoring position to deal with. Stepping in now, Carlos Correa. Slider clocked in the mid-80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Two two pitch is fouled away. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will land untouched. The 2-2 two -two one more time. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Freeman into foul territory, but this will wind up being a foul ball. 
This is skied into short left center. Swanson trying to get there. He can't get to it. This one's down. Long throw to third. And this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. In now, Yuli Guriel. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to. Onto the shortstop at second, but it's thrown away. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Throw won't get him. Six runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Two and two. Still two and two. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. This pitch is popped up. Freeman takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Next to dig in, Jordan Alvarez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a 3 1 count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Got to bring in Guillermo Heredia now. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the Number home half Number of the fifth 16. underway. Jesse Chappell. And look out. Oh, that got him. And any time you hit the pitcher, you're asking for trouble. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Ozzie Albies. Albies. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Freddie Freeman there, he'll hit next. Sliced hard on the ground, and that's through, a base hit. Heredia rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the play. And the deficit is cut to four now. The first baseman. Freddie into the box Freddie Freeman and whoa awfully close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller now that so now to the play right Adam Duvall singled Adam. in his last at bat Duvall. and that one yanked just foul from the stretch no oh. offer at the curve that time and it's knotted up at two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Chopped weakly to the right. A little bouncer. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. The and shortstop. next will be Dansby Dan Swanson Bear. digging in. It was a walk in his last trip. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. One run scores. And he's safe. The batter, the third baseman, off 
So now to the plate, Austin Riley hits it high and deep out to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Blake Taylor trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Eddie Rosario will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. The 2 2. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Martin Maldonado he's one for two in this one and going back to that previous at bat when he hit the two strike breaking ball for a home run something tells me that this guy when he gets behind in the count sits on something off speed of the breaking ball two and one the count now the pitch and this is on the inside edge perhaps off the inside edge but it's a called strike two and two now. Got him on the good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Next up for the Strohs, Jose Siri. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Down the left field line and deep. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. And he pops it up. Riley trying to get there, and that's going to land foul. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Yimmy Garcia enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 93. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Travis Darno. Set and the 2 1 pitch. A swing and a miss there, 2 and 2. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3 and 2. And in a 2 run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on deck circle as long as you can. And Alvarez will be there for the first out. Ready now is Guillermo Heredia. Guillermo. The 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. High and deep to right. Ranging back is Tucker. He takes the turn and heads for second. Around second now and headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Eric Adrianza will grab a bat and pinch hit now, and he'll be looking for at least a fly ball if he's got a runner at third and only one away. Heredia takes his lead at third with one away. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Number one. Now back Second to the top man. of the lineup. Stepping Ozzie. in, Ozzy Albies. Ozzie. Two for two in the ball game so far. The 1-1 one, one pitch. And that's taken up and in for ball two. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over.
A.J. Minter is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 33. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. All even now, two and two. Now the pitch. Shoots this down the right field line. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first the out. The right field. Kyle Tucker. Now with the plate is Kyle Tucker. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The three two pitch. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Now a swing, and this ball is crushed straight away center field. Looking up is Aredia. Into the box now, Carlos Correa. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour. On a night like tonight, where it's super cold out, if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. The 3 2 pitch. Ripped on the ground to first. Freeman is up with it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Luke Jackson will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Your attention, please. Now at the plate, Yuli Guriel. He's two for three and looking for more here. Luke Jackson. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. <laughs> Phil Maton gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and stepping in the long ball threat, Freddie Freeman. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning, instead of foul ball. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands, and he just took it foul. And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. The right fielder, number 14, Adam Duvall. To the plate now, Adam Duvall. There's a swing and a high blast headed for the corner and right. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Now the fastball is right by him as he no swings batter, and misses seven. for the first out of the inning. Stop. The 2-2. Two -two. 
left side. And that's in there for a base hit, and his third hit of the game. Now batting, third baseman. Standing in now, Austin Riley. Hit on the ground out to short. Altuve for one. Back to first, and he throws it away. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. Eddie Rosario will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. The throw to the plate, but not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. The tag, and they'll get him at second, and with that, the side is retired. Alex Bregman. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now the one and one pitch. The bouncer to the left side. He's right there. Throw on to first will get him score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Next to stand in is Martin Maldonado. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. And here's one that misses to the Houston catcher. It's 2-1 and one now. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Fouled off. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. Chopper to short. Swanson picks it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Kendall Graveman is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Chaz McCormick is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. So 1 1. High in the air out to center field. Siri is underneath this one. One down. Now it'll be Guillermo Heredia. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. Oh, Heredia. The 2 2. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Ray Palmero will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Chris Martin enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Martin. Set to start the ninth in this one and standing in the rookie outfielder Jose Siri. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hit hard towards center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. At the plate now, Jose Altuve lifted down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 
one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next to hit is Kyle Tucker. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Boy, this guy right here with that last AB. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb. And as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Fouled away. Lays off two and two now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. McCormick, the runner at first with two gone. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 2 2 offering. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. He waits. Now the pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Rosario is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Ryan Presley comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 55. Ryan. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Ozzy Albies, two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Yeah, it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer trying to get back into a game, especially in the ninth oh. inning. But having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get something started here. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And folks, this ball game is tied. And now, Freddie Freeman hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. There is Altuve, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Stepping in next, Adam Duvall. One like run him. in and one gun Adam. so far in this inning. Duvall. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. No. Fastball well outside. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. He set the 3 1. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. 3 and 2. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Next, it'll be Austin Riley. He could make these fans go nuts and secure the win if he can place a ball deep enough into the gap. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. I know this is not his finest moment, but we're not going to panic right here. This guy has been doing this a long time, a veteran that won't let the emotion get to him. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. Throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. Stepping in now, Eddie Rosario. Bregman has it. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. We 
We are into extra innings and the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year Carlos Correa bats next. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short and the leadoff man will be set down here to begin the extra frame. All set for the start of the inning and digging into bat next the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Aredia. He's got it and there are two down now. And that'll bring up Alex okay. Bregman. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And it's one and two. Hey, you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch, expecting the nasty slider to break down and away, and had hung in the middle of the plate too late for him to pull the trigger. And he fouls this one off. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Good battle. Count remains full. Ready with the payoff pitch. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here, and up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and up next will be Guillermo Heredia. The one one is looked at for ball number two. Sliders in for a strike. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind and count 3 2. Payoff pitch on its way. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Ryan Stanner enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Orlando Garcia will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Now playing third base. Number nine. The one and one pitch. No contact there, and it's one and two. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready to pull the trigger. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Digging in, the switch hitter, Ozzy Albies. Game on the line here, and a ball deep in the gap would make this place explode. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And the throw in gets away from him. And the postseason magic is there for them one final time as they walk off to win the World Series. Santa Maria.
Heroes are born in October, and you can add another name to that one right here as he finds a way to win this thing with a dramatic walk-off. Wow! What a clutch at bat, what a game, and what a World Series. the show as we take you through a few of the sights and sounds of the final game of this World Series. chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs. For my partners Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire fall classic crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the World Series. <laughs>